قل ارايتم ان اخذ الله سمعكم وابصاركم وختم على قلوبكم من اله غير الله ياتيكم به say to them o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam just ponder over it if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away your sight your faculty of hearing and if he puts a seal on your hearts who is that god besides allah except allah who can bring back to you these faculties unzur kayfa nusarrifu alayat see how we are explaining our ayat variously in various forms tasrif means to 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 rotate a thing one thing said in one style then the same thing repeated in another style if you could understand it this way well this this way and this mode might be intelligible for you kaifa nusarrifu alayat thumma hum yasrifun but they are turning away قل ارايتكم ان اتاكم عذاب الله بغتتا او جهرا هل يهلك الا القوم الظالمون again say to them have you ever thought if the punishment from allah comes to you suddenly without any notice bakta means something happens without any notice او جهرا an attack which comes openly and after giving a warning هل يهلك الا القوم الظالمون who will be destroyed and finished with except these people who are evil doers wa ma nursilul mursalina illa mubashshirin wa munzirin this ayah we have read in surah an-nisa also rusulam mubashshirin wa munzirin and i explained that these are the two basic functions of all the messengers that they have to give glad tidings to the people who take to the right path and they are they are the warners for those who don't take to the right path who are going on the wrong path despite all the warning wa ma nursilul mursalina illa mubashshirin wa munzirin they don't come with some authority that they can per force take somebody to the right path as i told you the most important example is that of abu talib the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how much he loved that he should embrace islam he said when he was dying when abu talib was dying Oh dear uncle please utter these words ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah maybe you utter these words in my ears so that i can testify on the day of judgment that this uncle of mine had accepted islam but he refused inna ka la tahdi man ahbabta wa lakin allah yahdi man yasha oh messenger of allah oh prophet of allah you can't bring to the right path anybody whom you like This is the prerogative of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Only He has the authority. He can, you know, turn the face of anybody in any direction, because all the hearts, as I told you, according to a hadith, the hearts of all the people they are between the two fingers of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He can turn them any way, to any side, to any direction. But this authority is not given to any other person, not even the prophets, and not even the. He is the chief of the prophets, Sayyidul Mursalin, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wama nursilul mursalin illa mubashshirin wa munzirin. And we don't send, and we don't, you know, raise our our messengers, but only as the bearers of glad tidings and warning. Wama amana waslah. Now it is up to the people. Whosoever comes to believe, and he mends his way, aslah. فلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يعذبون. For them there will be no fear and no grief. They will never be grieved. But the ones who kazabu be ayat na, the same simultaneous contrast again. And those who belay our signs and our revelations, ayat covers both the things. All the signs of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, maybe the miracles, maybe all the signs you know in the heavens and the earth. ان في خلق السماوات والارض واختلاف الليل والنهار لايات لاولي الالباب and then you know the revelations also there are ayat والذين كذبوا باياتنا يمسهم العذاب بما كانوا يفسقون then you know they will be afflicted with the punishment due to their transgressing قل لا اقول لكم اني خزائن الله this is another very important thing about the messengers of allah subhanahu wa taala they never they never claim that they have some extra authority they had the powers 
to do anything they like they have the power to show miracles on their own no what's the position just you know focus your attention on this aya we have different notions you know but what is the actual position of a messenger of allah what has been the actual position if this is the position of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the final prophet and the last messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what to speak about the others qul la qul lakum indi khadailullah say i have never claimed i don't claim i don't say to you that i own the treasures of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wala alamul ghaib and i don't claim to know the unseen except the the knowledge that allah gives me i don't know it on my own the unseen is unseen wala alamul ghaib wala aqul lakum inni malak nor do i claim to be an angel i am also a man a human being qul inma ana basharu mislukum yuha ilayya annama ilahukum ilahu wahid in attabi'u illa ma yuha ilayya i am only following what has been revealed what is being revealed to me this is my position the only difference between you and me is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending me his revelations i am also a human being human being i don't claim to be an angel i don't claim i have all the powers all the authority of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i never claim that i can show you any miracle you demand i never said it qul la qulu lakum indi khazailullah wala alamul ghaiba wala qulu lakum inni malak in attabi'u illa ma yuha ilayya qul hal yastawi al ama wal basir now can they be who are seeing equal to those who are blind who can see the truth and who does, who, who closes his eyes to the truth they can't be equal afala tatafakkarun so do you not ponder over these things don't you use your intellect 